by Booze Brothers Performance, Semco Village Mart, Auto Racing Club of Hagerstown, D&D Auto Recycling, Sales Whitetails, Kids Outdoors, Hoosier Tire Mid-Atlantic Modifies, Need a Sign, Outback Motor Speedway, Walrus Signs, and West End Baptist Chapel. I do want to mention that Hagerstown Speedway has rescheduled the Frank Saigip Tribute Race. Uh, that'll be on June the 10th. Yeah, all right, race fans, we're back here. Let's see if we can get Doug Hoffman on the phone. Hello. Hey, Doug, Danny Wilson here. We're live on Turn 5. How you doing? All right, Danny. How you doing? Uh, we're doing great. Hey, thanks for taking time out of your busy schedule. I know you're getting ready to race this uh, potentially this weekend. Is that correct? Yeah, 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 as long as the weather holds out. we. Uh, oh, no, this weekend? No, we're off at Hagerstown, aren't we? Yeah, we are off at Hagerstown, <laughs> but I thought maybe you would adventure off and race someplace else. No, I think we're going to take the opportunity, uh, take the weekend off. Um, it'll be the last chance we have uh, till I believe, the end of July. So uh, I think we're going to stay uh, home this weekend. You know, I've watched you race this year, and – it seems like you're really having a good time. You picked up a win earlier at Hagerstown. It looks like you and the race team are having a blast. Oh, yeah, man. I'm just glad to be back in a competitive car again. Um, you know, the team has gelled actually a lot quicker than I thought. Um, I figured it would take us a couple of races, but, uh, man, after that first race, we worked a few bugs out, and, you know, at that point, I've ran like 10 races at Hagerstown before this season. So this is uh, my first real shot at getting a track championship, hopefully, at Hagerstown. We're going we're gonna to give it a good shot. Doug, I had an opportunity to look over your portfolio as far as, you know, when you started racing and so on and so forth. But for the fans at home, without me reading over all that, for the fans at home, when did you get started in racing? Uh, about 95 on a uh, part-time basis. Just starting out, we were racing a few races here and there at Silver Spring Speedway up in Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. Then uh, we did that for a few years, and then we went full-time. We were fortunate to have uh, some good sponsors. Red Dog was with us for a while, if anybody remembers that old beer. And uh, ran up Path Valley. We were able to, uh, fortunately, get two championships up there in 2000, 2001, and uh, took a break there due to finances, and some things came around in 2008, got a team together, and we went to Williams Grove Speedway, ended up being able to win the championship there, and uh, we have a total of three there, and then struggled with uh, some sponsorships again, and had to take some time off, and Randy and Renee Clegg called me, and this seat came available in the Super 7, and it's a great opportunity, and I'm, I'm so glad to be in the car. Has the majority of your career been behind the wheel of a pure stock or hobby stock? My entire career has. I, I never drove anything but a street stock. Do you feel like jumping into this number seven car that, that you you had mentioned, you know, you want to run for points and you, you have a great opportunity uh, to potentially win the championship. Do you feel like at this point in your career that this was the right move for you to move into the number seven car and, and, and compete strictly at Hagerstown? Oh, by far, yeah. Um, like I said, I, our, our family-owned team had been struggling. I mean, this 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 racing deal is so expensive nowadays, as, as most of you guys know, and uh, we just weren't able to do, do it right. And um, I knew this was going to be a good move. I've been struggling to be competitive, and, and that's what I want to be. Um, Hagerstown is a fun track to race at. Nice, clean drivers. You know, you go to some of these tracks and, and these guys will just run into the corners and tear you up. And, and I haven't seen that down there. These guys are really clean. Um, they give you a room. And it's just fun to run. Doug, we had the opportunity to see your car on display at the mall. And I've seen the car up close. There's a lot of craftsmanship that goes into your car are you there every week helping out, or does typically the owner of the car uh, take care of it at their residence? Um, yeah, it's in their shop, but I, uh, I go over once or twice a week, and I'll do uh, whatever maintenance needs done. 
Uh, we have we have a pretty good crew together. Randy Clegg, the owner of the car, he uh, he does all the setup and and the majority of the work. Um, but I help out whenever I can. One of the things that I admire about your race team is, and I have to assume it's your owner's wife that's always videoing the races, and then she makes a video and posts it. What a great opportunity to promote not only your driving abilities, but also all of your sponsors as well. And, and I think more race teams need to do something similar to what you guys are doing for your race team. Not necessarily copycat it, but to be able to promote your sponsors, which in return will help you keep those sponsors down the road. Oh, definitely. These sponsors are so important to us. And any little thing that you can do to get their name out there, to get the fans seeing them. And Renee, she does a great job at those videos. And like you said, it's a great way to uh, just promote the sport in general, too. When you look at the, the various tracks that you've traveled to and competed at, Hagerstown, to me, has really turned into a pure stock type track. And the reason why I say that is lots of times with the limited late models and the super late models, the track has a tendency sometimes uh, midway through the feature to where it bolts down and you only have one groove. With you guys, it seems like the groove can be two, three wide in various locations, which sometimes leads to some really, really good racing in the pure stock division. Definitely. I'm not sure what makes our cars go on the track, even when it slips off a little bit, um, but you can definitely get two lanes. I'm not quite sure if you're going to get three in the corner sometimes. Um, just depends on how the high side comes in. And uh, it's nice when you don't have that follow leader kind of racing. And we can get out there and actually race. Right. One, one of the challenging parts when it comes to limiteds and supers is the cars are so equal, very equal. With the pure stocks, you guys can run different types of chassis, different motor combinations which allows you to get a little bit creative when it comes to engineering. And, and that allows your crew, your owner, to show that they have the ability to, to help you put that car in victory lane. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, Randy and the guys, they put so much work into these cars. Uh, and I think it shows. They give me a great car. And uh, like you said, you can be creative, but it really boils down to your homework and note taking and just working at it each and every week. Well, race fans, if you just joined us, we have Doug Hoffman, driver the number seven, uh, pure stock driver, competing at the Hagerstown Speedway. You know, this weekend we're off, but then we come back and we have a couple weeks where we race. You know, when you look at your career, are you happy where you're at right now as far as what you've accomplished, or is there still a lot more that you want to do in the racing world? No, you know, I, overall, I, I got to say I'm pretty satisfied. I mean, already have five championships. We're, I think, going to be definitely competitive for the championship this year at Hagerstown Speedway. And, uh, you know, there's always things you wish you could have done, but I'm satisfied. I mean, I can't say there's much more that I really would want to do. Sean Dawson drove this car um, you know, he had some good runs. Um, have you stayed in contact with Sean? Because I, the reason why I asked that is I seen him in victory lane when you picked up your win earlier this year. I seen him and his father. Oh, for sure. Sean and his dad have, uh, been to most of the races this year in, in the pits with us and, and helping out a lot. Um, you know, I got to congratulate Sean for the job he did last year. He's the defending Eggerstown Speedway champion. Uh, and man, he, he did a heck of a job last year. And, uh, Man, he left some big shoes to fill. <laughs> are, are you still having fun after all these years? Are you, are you still having fun? Oh, definitely. You know, and that's what this opportunity really gave me. Um, when I was running my own team, you got so much else to worry about than just going out there and driving and having fun. It, you got you got to work on all the finance part of it and all the sponsorships. And, you know, this year is such a change. And it has been a lot of fun. Doug, is there any other tracks that you guys are going to compete at during the 2018 season, or is Hagerstown going to be it? Uh, I believe we're going to run a few races down at Winchester in the later season after the points are done at Hagerstown. And other than the points, 
we really don't have anything set in stone. Um, there's there's a few races we're looking at here and there, but we'll definitely be down at Winchester for a few races. Excellent. If there was one thing in the pure stock division, and, and I want you to look at the bigger picture, not just Hagerstown. I want you to look at every track. If there's one thing in the pure stock division that you could change, what would it be? Probably more consistent rules. It's really frustrating when all these tracks have different rules and you know even at, at specific tracks diff, there's different rules for different cars and and that gets a little hard to to get all figured out um we're getting close here to the end of the interview please mention all the folks that you need to thank that's helped you along the way yeah clever transport out of hagerstown clever transport llc.com is their website by the way they are looking for ddl drivers if anybody needs a job aes hearth and patio C Service Center, Southside Pediatrics, KB Landscaping, Farwell Gun Shops, Corel Pools, Blue Chip Technologies. These guys are the ones that let us get to the track each and every week. And then, of course, you got our crew. Randy and Renee Clegg own the car and put a lot of work into it. Dave Hoffman, my brother, man, he's been with me and uh, he basically helps out. Whatever I decide to drive, he he's there. And uh, Jeff Bayshore, he turns wrenches for us. He's the owner of CE's Service Center. He's in the shop with us every week. And then uh, Brian Holobolowitz, he's been with us for a couple of years and uh, helps us out a lot. Doug, final thoughts for the race fans before we sign off? I, I just got to thank the fans for coming out every week. Without them, we wouldn't be able to go out and have the fun that we have. Amen to that. Amen to that. Doug, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule. We look forward to seeing you in two weeks at the Hagerstown Speedway, and enjoy your week off. All right, Danny. Thanks for having me on Turn 5. All right. Take care, Doug. What a great gentleman. Um, you know, when he sent me his portfolio, I was amazed. I didn't realize what all he had accomplished in the past until I read that. Right. Uh, I've, I've read a few things. Um, yeah, you, you touched on this earlier, but uh, Mrs. Clegg doesn't excellent job with their Facebook page. Uh, very informative, and, and she's got all that information on, on their Facebook page. And, uh, and I wish more race teams did what she does on a weekly basis, because it, it, I think it would help promote not only race teams, but also racing in general. It does make a difference. And you know, you do a little bit of it with the Hoosier Tire Mid-Atlantic Modifieds, where you guys will do a live feed, you know, and things like that. And all this makes a difference. And, and I, I keep telling everyone, we got to start working together. And I think we're at a point now where it seems like it's working. Getting there. Anything on Facebook? Actually, people just now started talking again. Uh, Tyler Koning said that he was a legend in the Williams Grove Street Stock Division. 